Hello everyone and welcome to another EECC Travels packing video. So in today's packing video, we are going to Alaska! Yay! I cannot express how excited I am to go on an Alaskan cruise. It's going to be breathtaking. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be cold, not hot. Um, it's crazy. I live in the south and I prefer cold weather. Yeah, I'm messed up there. But anyway, Okay, so we have not just a packing video, but a packing challenge because packing for seven days in the Caribbean is not that difficult. You're wearing shorts and tank tops. They don't take up that much space. Packing for cold weather is a different story. You're packing pants and jeans and long sleeves and sweatshirts and jackets. They take up a lot more room in a suitcase than those shorts and tank tops do, right? Okay, so we're still going to try and do seven days plus one in Seattle. So eight days worth of clothes in a carry-on suitcase. So I have my trusty pink bag that you guys have seen in all of our packing videos. This is my suitcase. I love it. I've had it for years. It's a great suitcase. It's a standard pull along suitcase. Okay. Um, but it works good for me. It extends. Well, I've never had a problem fitting everything I need in this bag. Cameron and Colby just got brand new Go Penguin hard shell luggage. So take a look at this. Okay, so first of all, look at the size of it. It's a hard shell, so it's got, see a handle here, a handle here. It's got the full rotating spinner wheels. Yeah, mine doesn't spin. It has at the top a TSA approved lock. So you can lock this if you want to. So if, even though it is a carry-on, if you want to check it, you can lock it and it's safe. And it comes in a protective bag. So when you're home and you're not using it, you can put the protective bag on it, put it in the top of your closet, put it in the attic, whatever, and this is going to protect the outside of your case. If you like these bags, stick around to the end of the video because Go Penguin has sent us a promo code to share with you guys so you can get your own at a discount. And when I start packing them, I'm going to open these up and show you the inside features as well. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pack me first because, well, I'm mom and it's my packing video. So I'm packing me first. So I'm going to pack my clothes in my suitcase. All the toiletries are going to go in my bag because I figured these hard shell bags will be harder to open at the airport and get those liquids out than if I put them in mine. So all the toiletries are going to go in my bag. That gives the guys more room for whatever the guys need. So we have four people, four bags. Let's get started. Okay. So we're going to Alaska. We need warm stuff. So I have a jacket, a beanie, and a scarf. So all these are going in, plus I have gloves, several pairs. The gloves will actually go in my backpack. And let's look at everything else I've got. Okay, let's start with tops. So I have, this is an eight day trip, seven day cruise, one day in Seattle. I have eight long sleeve shirts plus one t-shirt. If I wear the t-shirt, I'm probably going to wear a long thermal under it. I'll show you that in a second. But um, I'm going to be enjoying these long sleeve shirts because I like the cool weather. But anyway, one day, one shirt for each day, not overpacking. I know what I like and I know these are the ones I like to wear. Okay, undershirts. We talk about layers. So I have all of these tank tops. I wear these on a daily basis. Like I've got one on right now. I literally wear a tank top every day. Um, they, they work good in the heat because they're kind of like a moisture wicking, but then in the cold, it gives you an extra layer against your body. So I have a stack of these. And then this is a really cool shirt. Okay. So this is an, this is a thermal shirt. It's very thin, but it's very warm. And I love that it covers your hands too. See that hole right there is a thumb hole. So this shirt will come all the way down and cover everything but my fingers. Absolutely love, love, love this shirt. So like I said, when I wear that t-shirt, this will probably be under it. But on a really cold day, I can put this on underneath any of these long sleeve shirts with the tank top, have three layers plus a jacket. One thing people forget when they're layering 
you layer up your top you're so used to you know putting on more shirts and putting on more shirts and you forget to layer your bottom okay tights these are just simple black tights um, they're very warm I have several pairs of them and I even remember one time we took a cold trip with the boys and the boys are like oh no I don't I don't need to, I don't need long johns they ended up wearing my extra tights underneath their pants and they were very grateful so i have three pairs of these tights i don't think i'll need them every day but i do i will have them if i do need them so these will go underneath my jeans when we're out and about in port probably won't wear them on the ship but on port days i will have these on okay bottoms these are my bottoms so i have four pairs of jeans and one pair of yoga pants i love 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 my yoga pants on uh, sea days very likely we'll wear these around sometimes definitely in the evenings or in the early mornings when i'm just relaxing the yoga pants will get worn i don't have eight pairs of pants i don't feel i need eight pairs of pants i can wear each pair of these twice and I'm perfectly content with that. I don't see my bottoms getting dirty. Uh, if I spill something, obviously I'll wear something else, but you're not sweating or anything like that. So I am totally okay with only bringing five pairs of pants for an eight day trip. Hey, NCL doesn't have formal nights, but they do have a couple of restaurants like La Bistro and the Manhattan Room where it has a little bit higher end dress code. So I am bringing a little black dress. If I have room in the suitcase, I may bring a second dress so I'm not wearing the same one twice. But if I do, that's okay because you're only wearing the dress for a couple hours while you go to dinner and then you go change. So I do have my little black dress that comes a little bit below my knees and I'll have some cute jewelry to wear with it so if I do wear it twice I will just put different jewelry on may put a little sweater with it so it doesn't look like I'm wearing the same thing you can put a little gray sweater over this and make it look totally different okay in this packing cube I've already put in all of my socks underwear and my swimsuit so I don't plan on going in the pools per se I probably will not get on the water slide because it's right now in the 50s in Seattle but I might go to the thermal suite in the spa because we really like that we don't have a week-long pass but we might buy, may buy a day pass and a swimsuit takes up very very little space there's also hot tubs you know one night you might want to just you know go sit in a hot tub so bring a swimsuit even if you're going to Alaska I also have extra beanies extra gloves because you just never know the boys might lose one or you might misplace your gloves it's always good you know these these gloves cost a dollar bring a couple of extra pairs that way if you do lose them you've got them and then you're not spending twenty dollars on a pair of gloves one other thing I bought which I haven't tried on yet is this so this is a bl so this is a blanket wrap it is super super soft so this would be good for walking around the ship at night not having to put a jacket on you can just kind of wrap this around you um, I really like it so I'm gonna try it on before I actually pack it actually let's just go ahead and try it on right now see how we like it this came from Sam's if anybody's wondering and it was only about $15 it says it's travel friendly and packs easy okay yeah this is pretty cool okay so it opens up like this so you wrap it around you oh yeah this is cool yeah totally dig this so you can you know pull it up to or if you just want coverage here you can pull it down so yeah i'm i'm definitely gonna bring this it's super soft too okay so for shoes i keep it pretty simple i will bring one pair of flats to wear with my dress I can't wear tennis shoes with a dress one pair of flip-flops in case I do decide to go to the spa so I have not wearing tennis shoes with my swimsuit and my tennis shoes so these are my a liter shoes they are technically water shoes but they're also sneakers and they're super comfortable so with socks they will give the socks will give me the warmth I need and then they give me the comfort I need one note we just decided last night that we might want some waterproof boots so we hopped on amazon and ordered them they're not going to be in until the day before we leave so we'll have to try them on see if we like them if we like them we will bring them they're not going to probably fit in these suitcases so it'll be the shoe that we have to wear down there and then you know of course we'll get our tennis shoes into the bag but that's something we just didn't think about and then we're reading the rather 
we're reading the weather forecast and it says rain, rain, rain. So we thought, well, maybe we should get some waterproof boots. So they're not in the packing video, but we are bringing those. Okay, so let's get started packing. I am using packing cubes for my suitcase. So I will pack all of my shirts in one packing cube, my bottoms in one packing cube. I've already got my underwear and socks in a packing cube. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so we are gonna, we're gonna start out by rolling our shirts and getting them into this packing cube. And check out the cool EECC Travels t-shirt. And this one. Okay, so I've got all of my shirts, all my undershirts, my scarf, and my hat all in this packing cube. And see this suitcase has those ridges on the inside. So we're gonna put our shoes in between the ridges and then put packing cube in this way. And it fits a little bit more snug. And now we've got more room on this side to come in with this one. Okay, now I have a little cubby right here where I'm going to get Is it going to be an easy fit? No, but it will fit. Okay, so it looks pretty full and I haven't put any of my pants in yet. But look, see, there's still more room than you realize in this suitcase. But we are not going to roll these. We are just going to lay them on top. Okay, so that was a tighter fit than I was expecting. So I planned on putting all of the toiletries in here they're not going to fit, so the toiletries will have to go into a backpack, which is not a problem because we're going to pack a bag that's got all of our camera gear in it, and so the toiletries can just go in there. I figure most, and even if we didn't have camera gear, we would be bringing backpacks, so putting, you know, the little toiletry bags in a backpack is really not a big deal at all. Of course, you can bring bigger suitcases too. We're just trying to do this in a carry-on size only for convenience and so we don't overpack. Okay, so part of the reason I bought this jacket is because it folds up into this little pouch. So this is a London Fog jacket. I got it at Sam's. I think it was about $30, but it's very lightweight and it's gonna fit in this pouch. So I did not pack it in the suitcase on purpose. I'm gonna put this in my backpack because it's in the 90s here, but when we get to Seattle, it's gonna be in the 50s. So if I'm cold, I can just pull it out real quick and put it on. So that's the game plan. So let's see how this thing packs up. So how cool is that? A jacket and a little pouch. Um, I've been asked in previous packing videos, what about pajamas? Those yoga pants that I brought are pretty much what I wear to lounge in and just kind of like whatever shirt I have or whatever tank top I'm wearing for the day and my yoga pants. So that's why you didn't see actual PJs being packed because those uh, yoga pants do double duty. Okay, let's look at toiletries now. So typically on a Caribbean cruise, I am able to get the toiletries in my suitcase bigger clothes, you know, jeans set and such are taking up more space. So the toiletries are going to go in our backpack. This is one of our backpacks that we bring. This sucker holds a lot. So all of our camera gear is going to go in here plus our toiletries and then we'll have a day bag or a port bag with other things. I will go into detail about what's in all of these bags in a separate video but I am going to show you what toiletries we're going to pack and we're going to put them in here. All right, so first up, you got to have a hairbrush. Gotta have a makeup bag. So those two things are done. So I'm a girl, have to have a little jewelry. So I've got on my uh, cruise ship earrings and I'm gonna be bringing my, Let's see if you can see that, new anchor necklace with some anchor earrings. So I'll drop those in there. And I got some new paparazzi bling bling. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna bring these uh, pack these as well. So I've got some little sets 
of earrings and necklaces. And with packing cubes come these little pouches. So I'm gonna put all of the jewelry in one of these little pouches and put it in the front of my bag. See, it all fits nicely snug in there. Zip it up and there's my jewelry pouch. So this is gonna go in the backpack with all the toiletries as well. Easier just to keep all those little bags together. Okay, this is my main toiletries bag. So it has lots of different compartments. So in here, I'm gonna put everything that isn't doesn't have to go through the TSA, TSA scanning. So I've got our deodorants in there. I've got some medicine in this pouch. See, I've got a razor in this pouch. I've got toothbrushes and the little flossing picks. Um, I, what I love about this bag is when I get on the cruise ship, I take this bag I put it on the counter and with all the little compartments, everything I need is right there. Then I can also take what's in the Ziploc bags for TSA and line them up in here as well and everything's well organized on the, the bathroom counter. Then of course we've got our TSA baggies and here we have shampoo and conditioner. Sorry, I can't use the cruise line shampoo because there's no conditioner. I'm totally fine with using the body wash and the boys use what's in the shower, but for me and Jason with his long hair has to have good uh, shampoo. We also have sunscreen. Yes, I know it's Alaska, but there's still sun. And downy wrinkle releaser, very important. Hello, you've got a lot of clothes packed. And I bring a little bottle of chloroseptic. I get a very scratchy dry throat at night, so I always carry that with me. And in this bag, I have a little bottle of hand sanitizer that I just like to keep on the counter in the bathroom, mouthwash, toothpaste, and lotion. So these two little bags, we will put them right up at the top to where when we get to the airport, we can pull those two out, throw them in the bin, run everything to the scanner, and then pack them back in the suitcase. Or I'm sorry, back in the backpack. Okay, so my bag is pretty full, but one thing I can fit right here are these little pop-up hampers. So I'm gonna slide these in here love pop-up hampers i usually will pack um you know one that you can put underwear and socks and stuff in and then one for wearing clothes it just helps keep the closets organized these are little but they will hold quite a bit and uh that should be enough for us for the week all right so let's get the boys packed now i'm only gonna actually show the packing of one they're boys they're packing pretty much the same things um but i do want to show you a couple things on the suitcase so this suitcase has where the the tabs lock in which is pretty cool so you can set a combination and you can lock it i think that's pretty awesome so of course like i said before it's got a handle here and then it's got the pop-up here it's a spinner and whenever we're all packed i'll take it into a hard surface and show you what it looks like spinning but let's open it up and see on the inside okay so these bags have great compartments Look at all these areas here, areas here. This unzips, one big area here. Thoroughly read the instruction manual before you get started. And this teaches you how to use the TSA lock, which is pretty cool. Okay, and then on this side, you've got more compartments, and then this will open out here. So, I'm not going to use packing cubes on this bag because it has these compartments that I can put everything in and then zip it shut. And over here, I can put everything in and then seal it shut that way and then put anything that's small in these middle sections. So I don't feel the need to use a packing cube in here. Okay, so what did the teenage boys need on eight days? Lots of socks and underwear. <laughs> so this is beginning. This is socks and underwear. So we're going to get started with that. But I'm going to put it neatly in the suitcase. I'm just dropping it for now. Okay, they're bringing two hoodies each. So that way, the hoodies double up as a shirt that's really warm. And then plus, it can be a layer. So if you've got a short sleeve on, you can put this on over. Um, you can also put a jacket on on top of the hoodie. So hoodies are a good thing to bring and they're each bringing two of them. Okay, shirts. So we have eight shirts here because you do need a clean shirt for each day of the week. So Cameron's favorite, his queen shirt is going. And then we've got a mixture of t-shirts. We have collared shirts because you need to have collared shirts for certain restaurants. And then long sleeve thermal shirts more t-shirts so you kind of get the idea that way he's got 
depending on the weather, he can either layer up or he can wear, you know, a medium weight, whatever's needed for the day. Okay, so I mentioned for me, layers on the bottom, I bring black tights. The boys have these thermal underwear, so um, they can wear these underneath their pants to stay warm. Okay, and then pants. So we're bringing five pairs of pants, because again, you can wear pants more than once. So we've got a mixture of jeans, khakis for whenever we go to the restaurants, more jeans, and then just some, um, they're not jeans, but they're not khakis. They're just kind of casual pants. So I think right here, we're well-rounded. For shoes, they'll have one pair of tennis shoes, one pair of flip-flops, and then one pair of something that can be worn into the dining room. So let's get started packing. Okay, so I've started out packing the bag with all the socks and underwear over to one side, and now I have all this space here that I'm going to put all the shirts and tops and then on the back side i'm going to put the pants and shoes and beanies and jackets and stuff like that okay so we did a really good job on this side we've got all the underwear all the socks all the shirts two sweatshirts and it zipped up nicely. It's good and packed tight in there. Um, I even went and Cameron did not bring me a thermal undershirt, so I went and ran and got one of those. Packed that alongside his underwear tonight. He's got a thermal shirt and thermal bottoms, just in case it's really cold. So on this other side, we're gonna put in his pants and his shoes and his jacket, and I think we're gonna have plenty of room here. Okay, so we've got all the bottoms in here. I did go grab a pair of swim trunks because we forgot those. Here are his shoes. And we're gonna latch this. All right, so we've got me packed, we've got Cameron packed. I'm not gonna film Colby's because it's pretty much the same as Cameron's. Colby's got the same kind of suitcase. He's got the, the Go Penguin hard shell case. I'm telling you, these bags are super easy to pack. His bag was easier to pack than mine was. So, <laughs> I'm giving a uh, second thought to my old handy soft shell that I've had for years because this bag packs so much easier and it's a spinner. I may have to upgrade and get myself one too. All right. So I'm gonna get Colby packed real quick and then we're gonna get Jason packed and we'll be all done. Okay, so lastly, we're gonna pack Jason. So Jason's suitcase is a hard shell spinner. It's Samsonite. So it has the locking mechanisms on the side, the double zipper, and then here's what the inside looks like. So this is very similar to Cameron and Colby's suitcases. Uh, we've been wanting to try out the hard shells. This is the first time that we're all, well, all but me, are going to have a hard shell carry-on. So let's see if we can fit all of Jason's in here. Okay, so what are we packing for Jason? First off, we have a down jacket. So we all have these down jackets. They are very lightweight but very warm, and they, they pack very, very small. So he's got the down jacket here. We are going to roll that and put it in the suitcase. He has a scarf and a beanie and gloves. So we've got, you know, everything to layer up for the warmth. Of course, we're starting with that because that's very important when you're going to Alaska. Okay, for tops. Tops, we've got a lot of variety here. Probably more than we need, but it's all about layers. So he's going to have some long johns that he can put on under his pants. And those are just kind of going to be the same. I won't even show those. They're just basically long johns. But on the top, that's where you can layer short sleeve, long sleeve, jacket, or hoodie. So we do have two hoodies here. This one. And then, of course, we've got the EECC Travels Freestyle Hoodie. So he's got two hoodies packed. For long sleeve shirts, we have four. So these two are kind of like a flannel material. These two are a little bit thinner. And then some short sleeve too, because around the ship, if you're inside, it's climate controlled. You don't need long sleeves all the time. So we have um, a short sleeve button up here. We've got a short sleeve polo. 
and a couple of t-shirts. Since he does have all the button-ups, he does have undershirts as well. These are, um, he's got one black and several white. These are just the plain v-neck undershirts. These can actually be worn all by themselves, but for layering purposes, that's what we're bringing them for. Okay, for bottoms, we are mostly packing pants, but we are bringing one pair of shorts just in case we have a warm day, because sometimes he does, he'll wear like a long sleeve shirt and shorts just to be comfortable, and one pair of swim trunks because even though you're going to Alaska, there are water slides if you're brave enough. There is a pool, hopefully it's heated, but there are hot tubs, which are great, and there's the thermal suite in the spa. This is what takes up room in a suitcase, all these bottoms. So we've got five pairs of jeans and slacks, one pair of slacks for the dressier restaurants. This is an eight day trip, so one day in Seattle and then seven on the cruise. But bottoms don't get dirty like tops do, especially in a cold climate. So we're only packing five pair plus he'll wear a pair down. That's really plenty for an eight day uh, trip. You can wear some of these more than once. And of course we have socks and underwear, enough for eight days, but we're not gonna show those. Okay, so for shoes, you're going to be doing a lot of walking on any cruise. You want shoes that are comfortable. For Jason, his Converse are very, very comfortable. They've got the laces out because he just washed them. He's going to wear these down so they're not going in the suitcase. But he does have the black high top Converse. So these will work in the restaurants as well since they are solid black. They're not technically dress shoes, but they look nice enough to where he can put this with his slacks with his button-up shirt and they'll be just fine instead of packing a pair of dress shoes these solid black shoes will do the job for comfort and for getting away with this restaurants and then last but not least um his running slash water shoes uh, these are our favorite a-leader shoes so he may wear these in the pool area, not sure, but there is a jogging track. Jason does like to keep in shape on a cruise, so he will put these on and go run sometimes. The good thing about these shoes, all of these, is that, minus the sole, they fold pretty flat for packing. So the a do, and so do the Converse. So, they're good looking shoes, stylish shoes, but they're not big bulky like tennis shoes. Okay, so these are very, very manageable to get in that suitcase. Cause like I said, we're gonna attempt to get all this in a carry-on. I think we're gonna be able to fit this all in just fine. Looking at the suitcase, we've got these two compartments. So this one has the compression bag to zip up. And then this side has just the bungee cords. This side also has the bars in it. So you have to take these things into consideration when you're deciding what to pack where. A lot of people will go in with shoes first. I am always shoes last. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this side with all of our tops. And then the goal is to do that side with bottoms and shoes. Let's see how we do. I'd like to love you. I'd like to love you. Already see a slight problem is these sweatshirts take up a lot of space. We're gonna do our best to make this work. I like to love you every day. I like to love you. So I got all the tops in here, all the sweatshirts, all the shirts, all the undershirts, the scarf and the um, hat. I do have some room, see? So I'm going to unzip this back and get the jacket in on this side as well. I'd like to love you, love you. I'd like to love you, night and day. All tops on this side. Now I'm looking at my stack of bottoms, underwear, and shoes. Pretty sure I can get it over there. I think we're doing pretty good. Let me flip this around. I like to love you every day. I like to love you. Okay, so we've got all of our bottoms in now, and we're gonna flip. The baggy around these are actually brand new shoes but it won't be when we come back so we're gonna put these in here 
and then we're gonna do the same with these. I like to love you night and day if I may. Okay, so see, that's the last bag. All done. We've got eight days worth of clothes, shoes, jackets, gloves, everything you need for Alaska in carry-on size suitcases. I'm very happy with this. Uh, this was a challenge for me to see if it could be done. It can. I'm excited. Yay! So if I can do it, you can do it too. Jason is, <laughs> he's probably got more clothes than he needs in this bag. But you know what? It's better to have too much than not enough, right? Okay, just a couple of notes. I could have used packing cubes in these hard shell suitcases, but because of the way they're made with these zip up side pockets, I didn't feel it was necessary. I thought I could just roll everything tight, use that mesh to zip it up, and it held everything in. So um, where I did use the packing cubes in my bag, because it's a soft shell, I didn't feel I needed them in the hard shell. So that's just why I didn't use them on all. I do have enough packing cubes. I just chose, thought it would be better not to use the packing cubes in these. Okay, so just a little bit more information about these pieces of luggage. This one is full, and look how easy it spins. I mean, that is filled to capacity, and it spins so easy. It pushes like this, it spins, it's very easy to control. Okay, so Go Penguin is offering a discount of 15% if you use promo code EECC Travels on their direct website or on Amazon. So I'll leave links to both in the description. So if you're interested in grabbing your own Go Penguin bag, please do so. Uh, they're pretty incredible. I'm very happy with with this bag. I got one for, Cam this one's for Cameron. This one's for Colby. Super nice bags. Of course, there's other things that need to be packed for Alaska. We will be bringing a day bag, and that day bag are things like, you know, our raincoats and ponchos and an umbrella. Obviously, we think it's gonna rain. And our binoculars and things like that. I will do a separate video um, with what goes in a day bag. So, be on the lookout for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe for more videos to come. And until next time, happy cruising. Bye.